Oh, that's right. We have a cola coming this summer. What are you going to do with your extra $93.75 a month? I'm going to save up for a Vegas trip. Wait, you're getting an extra $93.75? Mine's only $81.25. Weird. We both got the same cola, right? Same cola, but that means I was only making, like, 86.7% of what you were and still am. But we're both OP3 saying you've been here longer than me. No kidding. I trained you, and I have a master's degree. Scott and Sarah both received the same COLA this year. It sounds fair, but there's a problem. At Scott's last job, he worked for his friend's dad and earned more than most of the others in his office. When he started here, his old salary was used to justify a higher starting salary. Sarah rose up through the ranks and has more experience and more education. Scott came into the organization already earning more than Sarah because of his previous employment. And if they're both treated equally moving forward, Sarah will never catch up. A survey is coming out soon to capture vital information about our experience, education, training, and job responsibilities allowing HR to compare pay rates across employees with similar profiles and highlighting those of us who are earning less than our peers for doing similar work. So take the time to include all your relevant experience, education, training, and certifications. Some of us may see a pay increase because of this. Some of us won't. But all of us should be proud to work in an organization that equally values employee contributions. Because at the end of the day, equal pay for equal work really is common sense. Are you taking the survey? Yes. Great, I didn't delete it. I'm taking it right now.